Hey everybody, I'm Lala and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make easy eggnog buttercream. Yes, it's so easy. It tastes very good. I want to show you guys how to do this in very simple and easy steps. If you're visiting for the first time, welcome to my channel and I hope you return. If you're already subscribed, please remember to like and share and tell your friends and keep coming. All right, let's get into this video. Okay, to start off, we, I have one cup of unsalted butter in my mixing bowl and I'm also using the whip attachment. I want this to be light and fluffy, so I'm using the whip, atta whip, whip attachment. So I'm just going to be whipping that on medium speed just to get it loosened up a little bit. This is at room temperature, you guys, so make sure your butter is at room temperature and uh, yeah, it will make it your life more easy. Trust me, you don't want to try and whip um frozen or cold butter okay so i'm just gonna make that a little bit lighter and then i'll move on to adding my sugar So yes, I'm beating on medium speed actually. So I'm just gonna stop my my mixer and scrape down my bowl a little bit and scrape the butter off the, the whip. Just so everything will be whipped better than to be stuck on the whip. So scrape it down as often or as little as you choose. But I would say more often than little, okay? Alright, I'm starting back on medium speed. You see, it's getting a little bit lighter and a little bit more looser. Alright, I'm going to turn my mixer down a little bit so I could start adding my sugar. I have four cups of sugar here. Um, so I'm just going to be adding um, a bit at a time. This is all depends on you. You can put uh, two cups or one cup. Uh, it depends on you, okay? But I'm going to take my time with this one. At first, I added my uh, for, uh, one cup. But then, um, yeah, after the one cup, I'll be adding it little by little. Um, so uh, just keep whipping that on medium speed to combine. If it looks a little bit dry to you, um, after you mix in it for a little bit, just start adding your um, your eggnog. Um, I'm using my eggnog from my previous video, my um, eggless, egg-free eggnog mix. That's what I'm using in this. Okay. So I'm just going to be adding a couple of spoons at a time. Now I'll be adding like a teaspoon of eggnog just to loosen that up a little bit. So here I just turned it up a little bit just to get it whipped more. See, there is more air incorporated in there. And then I added some more sugar. So I'm, I'm going to be playing with my speed throughout this video. And then I'll be adding like a teaspoon of eggnog, um, each additional um, of sugar. This this texture it all depends on you. You can you can make it thicker, you can make it lighter, um, but I want it to be light and airy, but at the same time holds its shape. So I'll be adding my eggnog, however I see fit. Okay. Don't overdo it with the eggnog, you guys. I'd rather it be thick at the end than um, too loose. That you would have to add more sugar. 
so uh, yeah I'm just making half a batch actually of um, my regular buttercream um, my re regular buttercream um, frosting so that's why I'm only using four cups of sugar but just adjust it please just don't overdo it with the eggnog that's why I'm just eyeballing it and um, yeah so basically I'm just working with my speed I'm gonna be testing the texture and if I'm not happy with it then I'll um, I'll add more eggnog to loosen it up to the texture that I want so this is all depending on you all right so just keep whipping on medium speed when you're adding the sugar if you go a bit higher um, when you're adding the sugar then you know it will it will spread all over the place basically a ice and shower so just be careful with that part and then just as soon as that's mixed in a bit I'm just gonna turn my um, speed up to whip it because I want a lot of air in the frosting all right so I've stopped my mixer and I'm gonna be scraping down my bowl remember to do that okay scrape down your bowl to make sure everything at the bottom is being mixed in properly and even on your beaters make sure to take that icing off and then um, yeah after that's done you start mixing again it's not the texture that I want so I'm gonna keep um, beating it so I added some about another teaspoon of um, eggnog and then I'm gonna turn my mixer up to medium speed just to whip air into it so it's nice and light and fluffy So I'm gonna check the texture again with my fingers it's my frosting and it's gonna be on my cake so I don't mind using my my bare finger for this but if you're making this for somebody please wear gloves all right so it wasn't the texture so I added about a tablespoon at that point but that's my preference so please remember to do it your way okay so I turned it up on, on medium speed again and if you can see how nice and fluffy that is already because it's it's as um, incorporated so much air in there already so yeah this is gonna be a nice frosting to work with So here I'll be adding like a, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and um, I'm gonna be stopping my mixer to taste that to make sure um, it has enough in there if I could taste it or not so uh, I'm gonna be adding another half a teaspoon so that will be one teaspoon total you have to do this to your taste um, you could add less or more if you prefer but my one teaspoon was good enough for me so I'm just whipping that up um, a bit more and then I'm gonna turn it off and yeah there we go I'm very happy with this texture it's nice and light and fluffy look at that yeah you can make it fluffier if you want or stiffer if you want but this was this is gonna be nice and creamy when I'm spreading it on the cake so I'm pretty happy with this texture and the taste as well This is a very sweet frosting, you guys. So, um, if you know, like, you have diabetes or you have trouble with sugar, I would not recommend this icing for you. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet about icing for people that actually have um, trouble with sugar, but um, I'll figure it out later. Um, 
so this is so nice and creamy look at that texture look at that airiness and it still holds its shape it still holds like you know it's not falling off but it's still nice and creamy so this is really good yeah and that's it for that I'm gonna show you guys how to pipe this yeah so I'm using a piping bag and a piping tip it doesn't have to be I mean if you're decorating it or for something then it's all up to you what tip you want to use but just for demonstration purposes I'm gonna be using um I don't even remember the number to be honest but it's a Wilton um, star tip so I'm gonna be using that so I'm just placing it into a cup and placing the bag over the cup so it's easier for me to add the frost into it then I'm gonna put a few dollops inside to get the frost in down to the tip to be honest I always hate this part it's always so messy I can never get it in the bag without messing the t the, the edges <laughs> I don't know why and then I'm just gonna squeeze that all the way down okay then I'm gonna show you how nice and fluffy this is my, my hand is totally in the way but you'll be able to see it when I'm done this will be good for cupcakes as well I can see this on cupcakes to be honest especially with this pipe in tip yeah do you see that Yeah. I can see roses being done with this. This will be perfect for roses as well. I think this will definitely hold up. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you watch enjoy this one. Have a good day.